Hey guys, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. I'm here with my roommate Catherine today and we went to Aldi and found some vegan foods and we're going to be trying them and rating them for you guys. I tried to film my expedition in Aldi but I got yelled at by the employee and I wasn't allowed to film. So I'm sorry I can't so show you more of this store but we're still trying them so I mean you're still getting positive things from this video. Okay, start with these chips. Okay, <laughs> starting with vegetable chips. It's an exotic blend. It says they're, they're basically like potato chips and it's a mix of sweet potato, taro, batata, and parsnip chips. Do you know the difference between a batata and a sweet potato? No. <laughs> I don't even know what batata is. Because when I was in Argentina, batata was the word for uh, sweet potato. Oh. I want to try Maybe because we're in Miami. Maybe. <laughs> Which one's yours? Oh. They're geez. different. Sweet potato? It could be taro. It's either taro or batata. Uh, this is sweet potato. potato. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna try a beet one too. All right. I'm gonna try. It. They're pretty salty. Maybe mine is just salty. Yeah, mine is slightly. Mine I mean, like sweet potato. Yeah, it just tastes like vegetables mm. in chip form, but they're good. Yeah, this one tastes like a beet. This tastes the same as the last one. <laughs> They but, good though. Yeah, they're good. It's cool to see like veggie chips. All they had a lot of chips that were actually vegan, but I just didn't buy them all. But I just thought these were the most interesting, so they'd be fun to try. So I just shared these recently in my Trader Joe's um, snack haul, but they're pretty similar. They're the green pea crisps. So it's just a different brand, but this is what it looks like. And they're super cheap and my favorite. Yeah, they're Catherine's favorite. So, okay, full <laughs> disclosure, we've had these before. <laughs> but. They're good. I like these. I actually like these more than Trader Joe's because to me they taste more like peas. I think we were talking about that. Before. Yeah. Walmart has a bunch of like different flavored ones like Caesar and sort of, no, wasabi. And, oh. But this one, and those taste really good, but this one's just like straight up peas. Yay for peas. <laughs> so next, we've had this one before too. It's the black bean and corn salsa from Aldi. And they actually have a few different flavors. Aldi had a large amount of salsas that were vegan. They also have a peach and mango one that I've tried before that I really like. But this one's really good. We've had this one, but I mean, it's, it's delicious. Yeah, it's good. We can and still try it. told us we had to get it. Yeah, so actually. Got so it. Thank you. So we just made some tortilla chips from corn tortillas from Aldi. Because <laughs> we don't have tortilla chips. I didn't get very much, oh well. Oh. It's really good. I like it because um, there's like some corn in it too. And it's like vinegary and there's cilantro in it, but it's not too spicy. You wouldn't say it's very spicy, right? No, and I'm super sensitive to spices. Yeah, she doesn't like spicy food. But I, it's like spicy enough for me, but it's not too spicy for you. Yeah, it's perfect. It has like more than one bean too. It has black beans and red beans? Let's see, black beans. It kind of looks so like it. red beans in there. Uh, I guess it's a mystery. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the last savory thing that we have is this jalapeno and lime hummus. And Aldi, again, had a lot... Oh, come on. Thank you. I think it's focusing. If not, you guys can use your imagination. <laughs> um, and Aldi had a lot of hummus flavors. Um, hummus is always good, but I just thought this one was cool. But I think it may be a little spicy, so maybe we need to be careful. We have water. Yeah, we do have glasses of water. For me. <laughs> okay. Oh, this one's a little bit. I think the kick is afterwards. The kick is afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it's really good. I like it a lot, actually. Um, I think there's cilantro in it too, so it's like a unique flavor. I would like put this on a burrito bowl or something. Or yeah, just eat it with potato chips. Is it too spicy for you? No, it's not. I'm just thirsty. It's a bit okay. salty. <laughs> but no, it's really good. It reminds me of like basil pesto. Yeah. With hummus in a kick. Good description. <laughs> okay. So that's it for the savory things, and now we're going to move on to the sweet. So I'm gonna start with these Oreos. It's not the Oreo brands, so we'll see if this off-brand compares to the original. And also I know a lot of vegans get crap online when they eat Oreos because technically Oreos are vegan, but the main brand of Oreos has palm oil in it, which I don't know if you guys know about it, but kind of like just destroying the rainforest and is torturing orangutans. Yeah. So, this does not have palm oil in it. So if you're a very conscious person, you can go to Aldi and get ethical Oreos. I'm excited to try them. Yeah, we'll see if they're as good as the original. Wait. 
They look pretty much the same. They actually look like they have more cream. Oh, they are the double stuffed. Oh, okay. Double stuffed. I mean, here, let's see if it'll focus. They kind of smell a little different, but let's see. I don't really know the last time I actually had an Oreo, but this pretty much tastes like an Oreo to me. Does it taste different to you? No, it tastes the same, actually. Exactly. Honestly, I kind of like this cream better. I think it's, I don't know why. But honestly, when I eat Oreos, I usually take like half their cream off because it's oh, too really? much cream. But this actually tastes really good. Huh. Well, there you go. And they were definitely cheaper than regular Oreos too because Aldi's always has like lower grocery snack prices. So definitely look into these. They had um, vanilla ones too, but I don't like the vanilla ones. Well, we can stick with the chocolate theme. <laughs> so next we have this brownie crisp. Um, Trader Joe's has this as well. This is just like another brand again. And I was looking at the ingredients before we filmed this video and this one's actually like super vegan because it even says vegan chocolate chunks on it and has soy milk in it too, which I thought was pretty interesting. I didn't show you guys what they look like in my last video. I like this teamwork. But it's like a little chip, and see there's chocolate in it, and yep, it's like a brownie crisp. Okay. Really good. They are good. I will, have you had the Trader Joe's ones? No. Mm. I think the Trader Joe's ones are sweeter. These taste a little bit more like dark chocolate to me. They're still good though. Like I would still buy them. Mm -hmm. But they do taste different than the Trader Joe's one. So next time I go to Trader Joe's, I'll have to let me try one. I'll go to the So next I have this dark chili chocolate bar. And Aldi has a large chocolate selection, but this brand was the only one that I noticed that was completely vegan. They did have one that was like a milk chocolate and toffee one, which was not vegan. But they have other flavors. They had a milk chocolate, an orange and dark chocolate, and then just a regular dark chocolate. But I thought the chili was interesting. And I love spicy and like sweet combinations. She does so, look spicy. I do look spicy. <laughs> I'm sure I like anyone who's watching this video should probably know that. <laughs> spicy right now. Okay, ready? Yeah. Yeah, literally just tastes like chocolate to me. Maybe. Is there an aftertaste? Like semi sweet. It doesn't even taste like milk chocolate, right? Yeah, it's definitely not milk chocolate. Well, it says dark. Mm hmm. Yeah, it just tastes like dark chocolate, really. There might be like a slight chili aftertaste, but to be honest, it doesn't really taste like chili to me. Nope. I was a little scared, but yeah. I'm kind of disappointed. If any of you guys know a vegan dark chocolate and chili bar, because every single one I've tried hasn't been spicy <laughs> and it doesn't taste like chili. So let me know in the comments if you know of a spicy chocolate bar, which is a very normal thing, right? Okay, so next we have these caramel corn flavored rice cakes. And they had regular rice cakes as well, but I thought these sounded more fun. I don't know, what would you like eat this with if you were gonna eat a caramel corn rice cake? I don't know. I have the plain ones and I put like black beans and chopped up avocados on it. Oh! It's really good. But that sounds really good. That's already caramel, so what do you add to I caramel? I guess you could put like peanut butter on it or like oh. berries or something. Yeah, you can get like peanut butter and like peanut butter and fruit. Yeah. Bananas. Do you want to split them? Yeah, it's huge. Okay. It's kind of sticky. Oop. It does taste like what I remember caramel popcorn to be, but it also kind of has that like styrofoamy rice cake texture to it. Yeah. No, <laughs> <laughs> I think this will be good. Yeah, I'd probably put like berries on it mm -hmm. or. It's like a slight caramel taste. Yeah. It's not like overwhelming, which is nice. It's not too sugary. This is part of their like fit and active brand of things. Oh, and these are gluten free obviously because they're rice cakes. And Aldi actually has a lot of gluten free snacks. I didn't buy a lot of them because most of them are on like the pricier side, but a good amount of them are vegan too. They had like corn pasta, they had pizza crust, they had some like snack clusters with blueberries and nuts in them. They had a bunch of bars. Said all like gluten free. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. I yeah. haven't tried any, but because we like a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is true. So next, I was actually pretty excited about this. It's a tropical mango passion granola cereal, and this was cool. It's organic, which is even better. And they had a lot of flavors of these. They had an original, I think, this of a granola. It was like coconut and chia. And they had some other one. It might have been blueberry. Can't remember the name of it. Banana. Oh, yeah. But it smells good. And, like, vegans always like cereal for some reason. So I thought it would be good to at least advertise one cereal brand. And most 
Aldi does have a lot of cereals, but you just have to be careful because vitamin D3 is not vegan. Um, it's made from sheep's wool. <laughs> Always so, learning things from her all, all the time. <laughs> so, yeah. So just look for vitamin D, and if that's on there, it's not vegan. But for the, that's probably good, right? But yeah. for the most part, I would say their cereals are vegan. Do you want to add like? I have coconut milk. Yeah. Okay. So I just have this unsweetened coconut milk that we're gonna eat with the cereal because I feel like it would be better with milk. How milky do you like your cereal? Just a little bit. Come on, that. Okay. We're good. Okay. So we have little bowls here of our cereal. So I think they're supposed to be mango and there's dried mango chunks in it. Ooh. And I don't know. It says passion, so I feel like there'll be passion fruit, but that might just be included under the natural flavor. It's really good. It's not too sugary. Mm. Yeah. I don't it's like think it needs to be because of dried up mango. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. No, I like it. It doesn't good. taste like a kid's cereal, you know? Yeah, it definitely doesn't. It's delicious. It's very granola-y. If you like granola, you'll love this. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna have to get some of that myself. Okay. So the last thing was in the freezer section. <laughs> Aldi had a few different fruit bars, but I thought this one sounded the most interesting. It's by the brand of Belmont. Mm. Okay. Um, it's Caribbean flavor, and it says it's filled with real strawberries, pineapple, coconut, passion fruit, and mango. And it's just water, and then all those fruits, and they use coconut flakes. And yeah. And for people who try to eat a lower fat diet, there's no fat in these, just so you know. It's just like all fruit. Here you go. There's four in a pack. I feel bad opening a whole one. Do you want to like split it? How would we eat it? Later. Here, I'll drink. <laughs> Improvise, always. <laughs> we could like break it into my bowl. I don't have to like hit it with my spoon. Will you be offended? No, I won't be offended. <laughs> Wait, <it's> not... <laughs> it takes a lot. Okay. I'm gonna have to do it on a harder surface. <laughs> Nice. That's like almost in half. Here's mine. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this is really good. This is really good. You should I'm not a popsicle fan because I feel like when you eat popsicles, you know, you like suck the juice out so then it gets icy afterwards and mm -hmm. it's gross. It's, it's kind of creamy. Mm hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. mm. It tastes like a healthier popsicle too. Because you can actually taste like the pineapple and the strawberries. I think you can really taste the strawberries. Yeah, definitely. Which is probably why you like it. <laughs> yeah, I love strawberries. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Well, it's nice because it, when it melts in your mouth, like you taste like the pieces of fruit. Oh yeah, and there's like bigger pieces of fruit in it too. Mm -hmm. I just got a piece of pineapple. So that concludes our taste test. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. And if you want me to do other stores like Walmart or Target, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks to Catherine for being in my video. Of course. And for letting me rearrange our living room to get good lighting. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.